G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, this is going to be a quick one. Um, a new sub of mine, him and I had a bit of a chat the other day on Discord and we decided we might try and do a little bit of a collab. And it just turns out that on the 17th, at around 6.42, 6.43 p.m., the ISS is going to make a pass over Brisbane, coming from the northwest. But it's not a usual pass, as you can see here. It disappears at about 49 degrees above the horizon. So Hugh and I thought, well, I wonder if any flatties can A, work out how do we know this? What sort of model have we got that we were able to predict it so well? And B, how are these flatties going to explain exactly what happened? I mean, the ISS was there, it was visible, we've seen it. We know exactly what it is. We know we can see it quite clearly as it transits the moon or transits the sun. But why is this nice, brilliant, bright object all of a sudden disappeared in the middle of a nice clear sky? All us globies, we know exactly what's going on. It did a nice little dive into the Earth's shadow. So what Hugh and I were after was perhaps a few other people to come and join in and have a bit of fun as well on the 17th and get out your cameras and see how good you can spot the ISS and see if you can track it right until it does a little dive into the shadow. And in the description I've left a link to Heavens Above and it's, yeah, I really like Heavens Above, you just need to change the URL, add your latitude and longitude, there you go, you'll be able to see it. So anyone who's within like four or five hundred kilometres of Brisbane, and if you feel like getting out, it's just after dark on Friday night. And we've also found that 1194 no longer works, but we found there's Telstra has now got an online version, so the link to that is in the description as well if you feel like you want to add a nice little audio timestamp to it. Oh, and we did also ask a few flatties to join in, but one of them says, oh, I don't look at bright lights in the sky. I guess he'd rather go and look at boats. And of course, Hugh was having a quick chat with no fanfare, so while he was doing that, I said, Hugh, why don't you just ask no fanfare to join in? We know he's got a P900, and he just lives down the coast a little bit in northern New South Wales, so no fanfare, why didn't you come along and have a play too? Because I know you love looking at videos of the ISS. And of course, he sounds really, really keen to get in there and have a go. So come on, no fanfare, we know you've got a P900 and you took some really great star trails. Just do the same thing, point it north this time and see what you see. What do you got to lose, mate? I mean, what sort of truth-seeking girly man would pass up an opportunity to prove it one way or the other? So anyway, here we are, hoping for clear skies. Hugh and I will have a go at this. Hopefully I can get out and have a quick play. And if not, hopefully someone else will. And another one of my local subs, Supercell62, is also going to have a go at this. Oh, I better go and tap Critical Think on the shoulder as well and see if I can get him to come out and play. Would be nice to have another data point from over the north side of town. But anyone, for a couple of hundred kilometres north of Brisbane, that would be even better. And hopefully Hugh and I will be able to make up a little video with yet another globe sign, irrefutable proof of curvature, thanks to the ISS. Oh look, I must say, Hugh hasn't been doing this for very long, but he really handled no fanfare and these little tantrums very, very well. Much appreciated for that. Oh, Wolfie and I had great fun watching this on the sideline as Hugh just popped up the perfect responses every time to poor little no fanfare flailing all over the place.